Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Rain World. We are here. We are in that place. You know, that place. Enjoying ourselves. Oh, did I not bring a stick with me? Well, I'll find a stick. I'm sure wherever I'm going. So yeah, I am basically retracing the steps I followed the first time I was here. I don't know if that is a disappointment to anyone that I am choosing to rather limit my exploration. But the reality is, I don't know, man. Like, I have a goal. I want to get to the Buddha. And so my instincts kick in. And I'm like, I'm going to take a path that I know will work. When I was doing this the first time, there was a big mold. Like, right over on to the side here. Maybe it's not gonna be here in this timeline. It is not. This is a lot friendlier. There's a guide here, which is funny. Uh, hmm. Okay, best way to do is probably... Oh, but we do get a present of a little buddy here. I mean, maybe he's gonna be stupid and be very, very... Yeah, okay, he's... Going where I am. Okay, well... I'm also flailing around a lot. So you know what? This is a world of flailers. Can you not go up more? Man, I'm just unable to... Ugh, there we go! No, he's not dead. I was wondering. I thought I... Yeah, that's right. Okay, still not dead. I mean, like, he's just laying there on the ground. I don't know what that means. Is he dead now? What? What did you pick up? I don't know. I know I want to see. Can I? I'm trying to see if there's a way to eat this. Yo! -ho -ho! That's right! Going full on carnivore! Oh, I was hoping for that. Every time I had wanted, I, I like killed a dragon and I wanted to eat its meat. And when I thought about the gourmet, you know, a character entirely based on the concept of eating, I was like, is this gonna be my chance? Is this finally when I can extract natural revenge? And it is. Alright, but, like, I feel like I was kind of lucky. I was in a position that was almost entirely rigged in my favor to enable that. Do not let yourself be, uh, succumb to hubris. Take your time. Be careful. I hope that mold goes away. Because <laughs> it's kind of in the way. I, can, I, I feel like I have to just wait here and wait for it to do its move, but... Like, I can go here, but why would I want to do that? Like, I'm just gonna put myself in danger. I have to wait for it to move, don't I? Well, it's moving now. Okay, it got bored. That's very nice of it. Uh... Okay. So that's gonna lead directly to you, but this is gonna be a place that should be relatively safe. 
All right. I mean, the presence of the mold is not the worst thing. It might devour a lizard if one were to show up. Oh, it's kind of benefit from its presence a little bit. Yeah, I have to go down here. Please be not aware that I'm here. It's all I ask. All I ask is for you to move on. Yeah, there we go. Leave me to do this ridiculous platforming here. Am I holding on something? I wasn't sure. Whoa! Well, there's a lizard up there now. I wish there wasn't. Alright, there's a blue glow there. I don't know if it's like a real glow or what. Seem safe here. This is gonna get us down here. Because the blue glow is just like a light. Local light. Lights it up. We're already halfway through a time limit. That's how things are sometimes. Okay. I don't really remember how this is set up, gonna be real. Yeah, so, I don't have Moon's helper, but I think that's the Buddha's helper. The blue ones. No, I wanna go up. I don't wanna be here. Anyways, there's a lizard there, and that is scary. You have convinced me to change direction. Congratulations. You know what? Yeah, let's, uh... Go ahead and stock up on, uh, orange stuff. Beautiful gunk. Delicious gunk. Give me all the gunk you want. Okay. Yes! I recognize this place. This is relatively safe. No, there can be orange lizards up above. So, uh, don't be foolish. I mean, just be careful. Like, there's... If a lizard decides to peek their head down and grab a, a big fatty snack, like, I'm limited in what I can do about that. God, how this works. No, oh, gotta go around. Just hold up. Go around. Woo! Okay. And that was for a while my headquarters on my way to get fed up to high karma and um get to where the buddha is wow that went way too well yeah that's right i did that that's what we call a meal on on feet it's not on a wheel it is it got feedies Okay. I think you need to be at max karma, though. Right? And I will have an extra dragon slayer. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember grinding out the karma. Uh... <laughs> well, my jelly friend had enough of that. That was terribly scary. What? No! Well, great start. 
fantastic start. Uh, oh, disgusting. Yeah, my soul flower is there, so I don't mind. It's just... Like, were you tired? Like, why didn't you plant that in? Don't! Really? This is going great. Wait, it's still shocking. So, like, if I had done the jump, I probably would have fell? Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> this is a terrible situation I'm in. But it's fine! I can always eat my soul flower again and again and again. Alright, is it gonna shock up again? Just want you to be like on this deck when it pulses. Like, this looks like the equivalent of getting up early and it's still like raining a bit. There we go, this time you... Okay, I guess you were tired. I guess. And yet, yeah, then I don't even, like, use it. <laughs> oh, thou cow, you silly fool. Alright, well... There we go, on the quest for food. Because I believe I need my mark, my karma maxed out. But there is food about. Just need to find it. And then eat it. You know what? Looks like when the battery is going in the aftershock like that. As long as I'm holding on to a pole, it looks like I'm safe. So, uh, we're doing great. I say, uh, well, alright, I don't... I gave up my stick, so I can't eat more delicious meat. Sadly. Well, hello there. Collect a bowl! I unlocked slime boot orange. Sure. I think I remember there being food here. There sure is. Slime goop orange. We love that! Yummy. Yummer. Yumma. Maybe it's just that this is like we're in a different time and the thing is in grievous need of uh, maintenance. Oh, had I realized, I would have. Uh, brought the slime mold with me, and I would have combined slime mold with delicious blueberry. We would have had ourselves a meal. What's down here? Not where we're going. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I can successfully make it back to my temporary nest, uh, I will be at maximum karma. I can junction into the realm of the Buddha. And see what he has to say about all this. Oh, you're getting tired, little guy. Yeah, I see, like, we're permanently in the screen shade. This is a very unpleasant stay. Whoops! Well, is there anything good up here? Some more goop. Alright, you know what? Why not? Goop is good! Goop is great! Uh, like, whether I eat it now or next time, it doesn't change much of anything. <laughs> you did it! Oh yeah, so I noticed something yesterday. So, yesterday I managed to make Buddy here throw up some red fern. And I was like, <laughs> did I eat that? And no, I don't think I did. And I didn't notice at the time but in post, while working on the video, I absolutely noticed that uh, I lost like a circle of of uh, of food. So like, so basically, it looks like this guy has the ability to just like get a thing at the cost from his stomach 
that is in there. Don't worry about it. At the cost of, like, one unit of food. Which, alright. Sure. I don't know why you've got, like, usable objects in there, but you do you, man. You do you. The mushroom is flashing in my food-eating menu. And I wonder if that's mean he wants to taste mushroom. Because I saw some mushrooms earlier, but I did not eat it because, um... You know, Survivor. Because it makes, um... It slows down the world, it's a bit annoying. Like, I didn't want to deal with that. But yeah, the fact that mushroom is flashing down there in my you-have-eaten-this meter. Maybe he has a taste for mushroom. Oh no, it's not all shocking. It was just a terrible day. Alright. Terrible day where we got a delicious meal. So do I remember where uh, the way to the Buddha is? I do believe I do. Just gonna keep on going up again. I, I, I'd be curious about having the meat of a lizard again. It just feels fantastic to do that. But I also know that this is a game where it's very easy to fall to hubris and become a little overconfident. It happens. Shocking, I know. Right, so yeah. Oh, there's still a... Uh, still one little bit up there. Uh, uh, there we go. Get a little bit of food in there. I don't know if that's going to be forward here. There might be an obstacle. There might be nothing. There's sticks and stones. But no bones to break. Not quite yet. That's over here. Oh, hey, well, we got... We got a big old blueberry fruit. Why are you not? Because I didn't... Okay. Like, I almost lost a, a, a point of food there. Because I thought I had grabbed the food, so I was holding eat. But holding eat is how you regurgitate if you're not holding food. So, you know. Would have been sad. Big ol' scary hallway. Is something terrible going to happen today? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Yeah, my karma. Is as holy as it gets. But yeah. Uh, if someone was upset that I was like not exploring at all. And essentially following the path I followed. Ultimately in my first run. I understand that. But. I don't know man. I like surviving. And making it to my goal. Because yeah. Like we are now. Entering. The way to the Buddha. That's big. Yeah, five pebbles. There we go. That's the name. I know there's a nest uh, somewhere. Just need to find it. Uh, yeah. I guess I should. Like, I'm not gonna be able to really use you, buddy, anymore. So there you go. Can I eat it? That's what we call recycling! Oh, that is not a fulfilling meal, though. Also, that is just so cruel! Alright, buddy, here we go. We traveled together, we had a lot of fun. Dead. <laughs> I'm a monster! Well, you know what? That's what life is in the jungle, in nature. There's no such thing as fair. It's a whole bunch of terrible monsters desperately trying to live. And next time, we're taking a big step and going beyond that.